to follow the program know that we love to talk about tech innovations. In the last few years, we may not have ran across one more significant than blockchain technology. The immutable ledger, as it is now known, is the most common use case, and what you're most likely familiar with is cryptocurrency. Every crypto has the backbone in blockchain, but oftentimes we can overlook the other important and world-changing opportunities afforded by blockchain technologies. Use cases can range from improving the supply chain, helping small unbanked businesses in agriculture, cleaning up the costly and inefficient cross-border remittance system, and even land registry. Those are just a few uses, and there are still new cases being developed every day. So let's take a look at Taipei, Taiwan, to dive a little deeper into all these fascinating and essential uses of blockchain technology. We're now joined by Ali Mahabriji, managing partner with the Blockchain Founders Fund and consultant to the United Nations. So Ali, first off, let's touch on relief for the unbanked. Facebook has made news recently with their announcement of Libra, their new cryptocurrency, but one of the big holes in the project is the fact that you will need a bank account to actually get involved in the cryptocurrency. What do you make of that issue with Libra, and why is the banking the unbanked such a crucial topic in the world of blockchain? Absolutely, and that's a great question. And one of the key properties of blockchain is the ability to move funds anywhere around the world, anytime, without an intermediary, without a bank. And around the world, there's 1.7 billion unbanked uh, individuals around the world. And so with the ability to use blockchain, you're actually able to help bank and provide banking services to these individuals for saving, spending, borrowing, and insurance. And Facebook came out and said that Libra is going to help to bank the unbanked and underbanked populations. And this just doesn't seem to be the case. If you need a bank account and you need an identity, I mean, this is cutting out one in three adults all around the world. And this is one of the problems related to also the KYC and AML regulations, which you know make Facebook have this as a requirement. And as of now, that just seems to be creating issues and leaving a major part of the population uh, unserved. And sticking with uh, Facebook. So, um, you know, when I mention cryptocurrency, one of the biggest use cases I talk about is digital gold. But I wanted to share this clip because they bring up something very, very important, which is the large portion of the population that is unbanked and what they had just mentioned, one third of the world. And that is huge for blockchain because not having a bank account, not having the ability to store value efficiently, uh, is a huge, huge issue, and that's one reason why I started investing in cryptocurrency. And I highly uh, recommend to my audience to educate yourself and kind of understand these kind of issues. Just because when Bitcoin goes down to three thousand or four thousand, and everyone is panicking, um, it takes a lot of guts, I guess, to be able to buy or continue to purchase crypto. But understanding the use case and the reason why you believe that this will have future applications will really help you if you're going to be a cryptocurrency investor or just even an enthusiast. But let me know what you guys think about this and I will talk to you guys soon.